guys, John with Alfred Homesteading. Okay, so I woke up this morning and uh, went out, you know, checked on the animals, all that kind of stuff. Went over, checked the power systems, uh, looked to see where we're at, and there's a red fault light on the inverter. And then I reset the inverter, turned it back on, and it was pulling something like 300 amps of DC, which means there's a short circuit somewhere. So I was like, oh crap, rats probably eating through a wiring somewhere or whatever. So I had to turn off the inverter and check each of the connections one at a time. And then uh, <clears throat> we uh, turned the, all the uh, circuits and stuff off here uh, in the trailer <clears throat> down there. All right, yeah, right there. And then uh, turned everything on one at a time until um, it, it gave me that same uh, error reading at the, um, at the inverter. So <clears throat> the, when we started turning on the, um, the breakers and stuff inside the trailer, uh, we, you know, turned the mains on, had everything else off, turned the mains on, then turned the AC on, and uh, or the, you know, the receptacle, what do you call it, the, the circuit breakers from left to right, one at a time, or one at a time. Turn one on, turn it off. Turn the next one on, turn it off. Turn the third one on, turn it off, and so on. Um, it uh, showed us that we had, um, on the receptacle outlet, it was, um, it was blowing the circuit breaker inside the trailer. So... Then uh, I finally I reset it, and then Kelly went over to try to um, grind some coffee, grind some coffee beans, and it was real low in voltage. It was like, roar, 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 you know, just real low. And I figured, well, the coffee grinder is actually just right behind us um, in the kitchen area right over there, and this is the bathroom. But so there's a, a GFCI circuit. Basically, that goes in the wall here. So I tried to reset the GFCI, and it wouldn't. Um, it reset once, but then it blew the circuit again on the AC panel. So turned everything off, and then started coming in, and look what I found. So this uh, circuit. So what happens is, you know, the wires were going into these holes down here, and when you have larger loads and stuff on them, you really want them to be around the nut not on the pressure point because as time goes by, wire heats up, cools down, um, it causes a gap, the gap causes a spark or an arc, the arc causes a heat and then eventually it melts. So anyway, we happen to have a spare on the other side of the trailer that doesn't need the GFCI uh, for the bump out. So we are going to um, temporarily borrow this until we can order another one and put this back in place and that should solve the problem so I'm going to reinstall this back over here and uh, that should solve the issue so if you have a short in your RV and you are um, dealing with um, you know your power and stuff being out at your receptacles and things that's this is how we troubleshot this today so again hope that helps you guys out John with Off Grid Homesteading living our life making videos and what happens here instead of making videos that, you know, just makes us money. So anyway, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, I'm back. Okay, so fixing the, uh, the GFCI outlet in the bathroom was just one of the issues. Um, the other one was this outlet right behind me here uh, is in the corner of our bedroom, and uh, we've had a few issues with some, uh, some water leaks and stuff around the window that we uh, ended up correcting. Um, but anyway, what ended up happening is, uh, we had a lot of, uh, rains and stuff come in, uh, last night, and when I pulled this, uh, plug and, and receptacle out, um, there wasn't any kind of a, uh, there wasn't any kind of a, uh, cover, uh, around it, and I guess, uh, and normally when your electrical wires and stuff come in, you want them to come on the bottom, uh, into your plug from the bottom, so that if water hits it, there's a drip loop underneath, and the water will drip straight down. So anyway, um... Long story short, the water dripped right into the top of the unit, and where they had uh, cut the uh, sheathing for the wire and spread the three wires out, um, the the ground and uh, the black wire uh, shorted out, and that's what caused the system to trip. So uh, it looks like the inverter ended up shutting down. Um, it shut down faster than the, uh, the unit did inside, so when I returned the power back on uh, this morning um, inside the trailer, the, um, the circuit breaker inside the trailer tripped. So the one outside of the inverter tripped first. It was much faster. The inside one did its job, 
you know, after I turned it back on, see what was going on. And uh, then at the same time, uh, this uh, this little plug-in stuff here, we basically, I just have to, had to, you know, take a plastic outlet uh, for a house, cut that in half um, so that it's it's narrower for the wall. And then I put that back into the wall here. Um, and uh, actually put some uh, some tape on the back, uh, electrical tape and stuff on the back of the outlet so that if any moisture or water did come down, wouldn't get into the box itself. And there's a drip loop underneath it so that uh, anything uh, that did actually get on the wire from up above uh, would actually miss the electrical circuit completely. So thank goodness of circuit breakers and uh, tripping uh, uh, fault interrupt fault interrupt circuits. So that was a, a, a blessing. And anyway, it was a foot away from my foot where I sleep. Oh, my goodness. I've been working on this for about six hours now. But uh, finally got the, everything up and running. I thought the inverter might have been uh, damaged or something and it wasn't working properly. Um, it was only putting out about eight or nine volts or so in the, into, the, uh, uh, into the trailer at first and had to backtrack it down to the... Um, the breaker box and then to every circuit every receptacle in the place until I found the right one and this one uh, was definitely it so anyway thanks for watching again talk to you later bye bye okay this is the third entry to finishing up this video so after checking um, checking outside and starting to do some investigation uh, look what I found switch it around we had a section of um, caulking and stuff that became, I actually just pulled a little bit of this off, but from about here down to here, it had um, come off. And our electric plug is somewhere right around here in this area. So anyway, that's uh, some of the stuff you have to do to troubleshoot, um, to troubleshoot your uh, water leaks and electrical issues and stuff in the trailer. So just thought I'd tell you, found that. That's the culprit. I'm going to get that sealed up here in a minute. We're going to have a lot more rains and stuff this weekend or this, uh, this coming week. So uh, thanks again for watching the Off-Grid Home Steading channel, and uh, hope to see you again. Bye-bye.